So I knew when we um, moved into our new house that I wanted to start a garden. I've always wanted to start a garden, but we didn't have a large yard to begin with, and I wanted to leave some space for us to use other than for gardening, you know, for the kids to run around and just relax in the backyard. So I came up and um, in my research found this um, square foot gardening which is great because it uses less space um, less time weeding that sort of thing and I um, of course made my list of things this is um, what plants go great together what plants don't go great together a list of all the seeds I had just various things I even before I started <clears throat> excuse me I actually done um, sort of like a map because in here it tells you to map out where the shade is in your yard where the um, sun is that sort of thing I actually decided where I wanted it to go and then I made a map of where to plant things they also said you should make a map because you don't want to be digging up things say come winter time and you're digging in the wrong spot so I made a map of um, just the vegetables I wanted to plant and where to plant them so I've been um, sowing my seeds for the last couple of weeks indoors in these flats and I'll show you those in a minute some came up you know they thrive some some didn't some I had to replant some didn't come up like I know now that not all the seeds will see so or will bear plants so I had to reseed some of them and it was just a whole learning process as this whole thing is I figured you know, if eventually we decide, um, well, this is what I'm trying to get to, going off grid, I should learn how to grow my food because I want to be self-sustainable and um, not have to rely on grocery stores and the such. So with the help of this gardening book and my husband's green thumb, because he has one, I don't, I mean... I am always saying that I killed a chia pet, not that I ever remember having one, but I did have a succulent plant for about three months last year, and I managed to kill that. It was healthy, beautiful when I got it, and... Yeah, three months later, my little A guy was dead. But anyway... Let's get on with this. I'll show you my um, plantings and then we'll plant them in the garden. Today is planting day. I'm so excited. Okay, so we are ready to plant. These are my seedlings. Some have taken off, some haven't. But today is planting day. I've got things like lettuce, tomatoes, peas, corn, Swiss chard, sweet peppers, hot peppers, um, spinach, red red onions um, I've got thyme, parsley, basil all that good stuff so yeah these are my seedlings my babies that I um, have nurtured over the last couple of weeks inside and they've been outside they've been outside for about a couple of weeks now and they're ready to be planted in the ground so let's see how this goes all right so I've got my plants that I need to plant. I've got my um, down there is my planting guide. My web. So I just had to show you these. These are my snazzy boots that I got from Walmart. <laughs> and I probably won't need them as much as I thought I was because it was a mud pit over there before and my husband has decided he wants to plant grass seeds. So yeah, there's no more real mud over there, and I'm going to show you it um, before I start planting. 
So I've already started planting. Some things were planted outside in the garden. And so let me show you what I've started already. So as you can see, it looks a lot different. There's still my compost pile there. We've got grass coming up. I've got my two beds. These I decided to do two instead of four, which is what was suggested for my family size was four. It just made sense just to make two really long ones. So started planting a couple of things in both of them actually. And the two black pots back there are my potatoes. They're not coming up yet. Um, been in the ground about I would say five days so we'll see how that goes along and I'm um, gonna start planting the beds now it's a beautiful day out they are expecting rain towards the end of the week so keep your fingers crossed nothing gets washed away or anything like that so let's get to planting all right okay so we finished planting the garden Everything is not labeled, but I do have everything mapped out. So everything is planted in this bed. There's onions and tomatoes and spinach and arugula, cabbage, peppers, beans, stuff like that. And over this side, there is lettuce, tomatoes, beans, carrots radishes and these two beds for like the high of the day will get full sun and then there will be some shade like this one is partially shaded now that one's um, in the shade a little bit but they will get full sun at the height of the day for a few hours a day so they will get good sun and then there's my potatoes back there so over this way just bring you over this way I still have my herbs there to plant that's all i have left to plant i'm going to plant those in some little containers and they're going to go up there on my um, back stoop sort of thing and that gets a lot of sun as well and then here is my what i'm calling my driveway garden here are some carrots some onions cabbage um celery Brussels sprouts, um, potatoes, no, not potatoes, I'm sorry, tomatoes, and peppers. And I think that's about it. Yeah. So this is my driveway garden. I'm so happy and pleased. I'm so excited. Got some tomato cages down there. I have to get a couple more for the peppers, but I'll get those. And then up there where the, you see the mulch and the circles, there is some things I planted. It's some lavender, some marigolds, and some other flowers up this way. And if you can zoom down on this, you can see there are different things. There's only one flower in here, but there are different things growing. <laughs> I don't know what a weed is, so and I don't know what the flowers look like. So I'm letting things grow for a little while. And um, I'm going to play what thing is not like the other. So I know that one back there is a weed because it's growing out of the circle. So that's basically how I can pretty much tell. So anything that looks like that back there, that weed, I'm going to pull it. And these other ones, I don't know. I'm going to let them grow a little bit, see what happens, and then decide. Hopefully, I'll pull the weeds and not the flowers. So I'm just going to let them grow and see what happens before I start weeding. Because I don't know what a weed is. I mean, some things I can tell is a weed. But other things, it's like, is that the flower or is that the weed? So, yeah. So I'm going to do that to all these beds. So... Hopefully the majority that I can tell is the same. And then what is different, pull that out. Hopefully it will be the weed. And that's another bed. So there's four beds along, four areas along here that's going to have flowers. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I will give you an update as the garden goes along. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.